And welcome back. So we had a few peaks of sun as we made our way through the morning and then partly cloudy skies through the day. We did cloud up. There were some showers around at times, but the panhandle basically did miss most of the severe weather across the uh, the, the uh, region uh, off to our south and to our east. So let's take a look at the high temperatures today with that sunshine and a southerly wind through the first part of the day. We did make it into the mid-90s for highs from Torrington to Scotts Bluff, Alliance, Shattering Gordon, and Sydney. And a little cooler has made your way off to the west. Kimball at 90 degrees and then back into the 80s into portions of south eastern Wyoming. Current temperatures look like this. Uh, we're within a few degrees of 70 from Torrington, Scotts Bluff, Bridgeport, Alliance, and Oshkosh. 74 right now at Sydney, but 69 at Shadron and Gordon, 65 out towards Cheyenne. There's your winds. Now, they are flipping around to more of a northerly or northwesterly direction behind that cold front. So wind speeds right now uh, basically between 10 and, uh, 10 and 15 miles per hour in most places. Maybe some stronger gusts out toward the Alliance area, but wind's really not that bad as of right now. Most of us have partly cloudy skies across the panhandle, mostly clear into southeastern Wyoming. And as you make your way from Bridgeport and points off to the south and east, still some rain shower activity, but uh, all the severe weather is well off to the east as of right now. Still tracking some severe storms along the uh, Kansas and Nebraska border. This cold front has made its way through about half the state right now. This high pressure system to our south gave us the really warm air, the strong southerly flow. So we did have those highs into the mid-90s today in some areas closer to 100 over the past couple of days. This is a much cooler high pressure system that will work its way in, give us that nice northerly wind as we go through the weekend. So during the overnight, clearing out pretty nicely. Could have some clouds for the first part of the day on Saturday and then more peaks of sunshine later on. High temperatures on your Saturday only into the low to mid 70s and that will keep partly cloudy skies for Saturday night mostly cloudy skies through the day on Sunday we have a little bit of an easterly wind on Sunday that'll uh, increase the moisture in the form of clouds and the clouds uh, will block out the sun keep us a little cooler for Sunday with highs only in the low maybe some mid 70s out there so here's what it looks like on the map the really warm air moving off to the east there's that cold front that came through uh, we're on its cool side as we go through your Saturday and Sunday. This high pressure works its way in. There's the clouds for Sunday, but when Monday and Tuesday come, this high works off to the east, and we have that strong southerly flow, so we will get back up there into the really warm to hot air as we start next week. Low temperatures during the overnight into the upper 40s to upper 50s, depending on where you are. Highs for your Saturday will be into the lower 70s in the northern and southern Panhandle Valley locations into the upper 70s, and we'll stay into the mid to upper 70s for highs for the day on Sunday with a few more clouds. And then for the day on Monday, back to that nice southerly wind, mostly sunny, a high near 80, mostly sunny on Tuesday, a high of 96, and 96 for Wednesday. Now, partly cloudy skies on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and we do have a slight chance of some showers and storms, mainly into the afternoon and evening hours as we get a little more active, but the storms will cool us back down into the upper 80s Thursday into Friday. Angel? That's looking like a beautiful weekend. Thanks, Justin. Now to America's summer travel chaos. It's slated to get even worse in the